Here are my two equations. Here's um, this is Josie. Um, this is Evan. Well, when you're solving by substitution, you're trying to find where these two equations equal each other. And we remember from the graph, it's where they're going to intersect. At that point of intersection, I know that these y's have to be the same and these x's have to be the same. Well, because this y is equivalent to this y, I can then substitute this right? This is what equals this y. I can substitute this in for this y, right? So this is why we call it substitution. What I mean by that is I'm going to put this e equation in for this y. So why we do this is we can't solve equations with multiple variables. Um, we need it to only be one variable so we can figure out what it has to equal. So what I'm doing is putting 5x minus 65 in for this y, and I know that this has to equal 3x minus 25. And when I solve for this x, that is going to be the x value at that point of intersection, right? If we remember our graph, we remember it's, there's Josie's line, there's Evan's line, and they meet somewhere out here. What we're going to solve for this x is going to be that x value at that point of intersection. So, first I'm going to add 65 to both sides. When I add 65 to this side, I'm just left with 5x over here. I now have 3x, negative 25 plus 65. That is going to be 3x um, plus 40. Right? Did I do that math right? I did. All right, now I need to get the x's to the other side, so minus 3x minus 3x. 5x minus 3x is 2x. 2x equals 40. Well, if 2x equals 40, I divide both sides by 2, x has to equal 20. So at this point, I know this is 20. That's only my x value at the point of intersection. To find the y value, I take this x equals 20 and sub it in for x in either one of these two equations. I'm going to choose the smaller numbers, the Evan equation, so y equals, remember it doesn't matter which equation you choose. 3 times 20, because that's the number of fruit I know that we have to sell, minus 25, right? 3 times 20 is 60, right? So y equals 60 minus 25. Well, 60 minus 25 is 35. So y equals 35. Remember, my, um, my answer is going to be an ordered pair. So x is 20, y is 35. Right, so 20, and then this over here would be 35. That's the point of intersection. And that agrees with the graph that we just showed on um, GeoGebra. All right, thanks for watching.